After the Civil War, freedom brought challenges to newly freed persons who had spent their lives enslaved, laboring without pay. But they were eager to prove that they were up to any task, including financial independence. During the mid-19th century, train travel increased to a fevered level for cross-country transport. There were no onboard dining facilities. Black women took the opportunity to serve travelers when they stopped at stations. Because of segregation, they could not board the train. Therefore, it was necessary to sell food from trays reaching up to windows where passengers stood. Here we see waiter carriers, as they were called, selling coffee and fried chicken to travelers. Most black women had to walk a good ways to get to stations, thus earning the name waiter carriers. At the C&O Depot in Gordonsville, Virginia, successful entrepreneurs provided outstanding food, fried chicken, biscuits, pies, and coffee. It is written that their popularity influenced repeat business as passengers purposely routed their trips past the Gordonsville Station, the fried chicken capital of the world. Overcoming and Success Waiter carriers built financial independence and propelled families into home ownership. According to Williams Forson's book, Bella Winston's mother is one of the women pictured in this photo. In a 1970 newspaper interview, Bella, also a former waiter carrier who was 80 years old at the time, said that she learned the trade from her mother. She said, my mother paid for this place with chicken legs. By mid-20th century, trains began adding dining cars, eliminating the need for waiter carriers. They certainly didn't get the quality of food sold from the windows. Some areas began cracking down on vendors with regulations. Where possible, women found employment cooking at hotels, and some opened restaurants.